Hi, I'm Gilles Peja. I'm a visual artist and resident in the 1535 in Defadange. I started with graphic design in Brussels at uh, ERC, Ecole de Recherche Graphique. And after two years, I, I, I had a painting uh, option class, so I spent a lot of time with, with the folks up, up in the studio that were full-time uh, studying art. And after two years, I, I had the, the urge to, to change sections, so I switched and I continued with uh, pure art. Uh, was an important factor in my decision to become a full-time artist was uh, after my studies I, I applied for a job at uh, Mudam at the Museum of Modern Art in Luxembourg but was in the preparation phase of opening and moving to the new building and stuff and yeah I, I was lucky and got accepted in the uh, communication department so I did catalogs and more graphic jobs but uh, the former director, uh, Marie-Claude Beau, she was very encouraging and uh, uh, sending, sending me to Art Basel with artists to, to build, build up a stall. And uh, you were in constant contact with curators, artists. Uh, that was an important factor that time is a big, big factor in, in my work. So um, sometimes I, I start to do research and put it aside and then after after some time with more inputs that that you get and more experience uh, something those small experiences start to make sense and, and and I can put it in form and put it in the right context and yeah I always find myself to do kind of complicated stuff where it's really hard to source materials and uh, I started this uh, um, series of clouds that I assemble uh, using old um, used hard drive platters, the metal ones that are in mechanical hard drives. So I, I buy like boxes and tons of uh, used hard drives on the internet and uh, which still contain personal data of random people through the world and I assemble them to form small um, water molecules and those I assemble to big clouds so you have this the reflection of the disc with this the, the content that's still on the disc it's a reflection of the people so kind of uh, and it's it's always tedious to to get enough material uh, I'm touching a lot of things um, I'm, I'm doing small drawings big installations uh, yeah, uh, touching all kinds of fields. I'm, I'm not restricting myself to any any medium. Uh, well, in general, my art for me, the the objects I create, uh, it's it's kind of bookmarks of my thoughts. So um, stuff that that I can't explain to myself. Uh, it's after some times I. I've, I crystallize it in some form of uh, artwork. It can be take any form. Uh, the, the material is often uh, very important to me, so I do a lot of research. And uh, yeah, it's influenced by history, but also by um, I have a huge uh, appetite for new technologies. Uh, the most monumental ones was in uh, finished in 2017. It's in front of a high school in La Madeleine, and uh, it's called uh, On the Movements and Habits. Uh, and uh, the title, I, I, I took it from a title from a scientific paper from Charles Darwin, where it talks about uh, climbing plants. And in this paper, it's the first documentation of, of a special geometric form that's called uh, perversion in the helix. So you have this, the helix that can be found in nature uh, almost everywhere and you have this perversion so it's like a, the helix inverses uh, itself and that's a geometric form that's not uh, naturally apparent in, in nature so it's some kind of mutation and it's for me it's kind of a resume what art is it's like have another look at uh, the reality that we live in different angle and uh, for me the sculpture in front of the high school is really it's like the yeah students 
way to school. It's high highs and ups and downs. Uh, so it represents a bit their path to school and education. So, yeah. Uh, while we are recording this, I'm actually preparing a, a show uh, at the uh, Centre d'Art Neulicht in Dudelange. Going to show a new series of those clouds and uh, a series of paintings. But they are the series is called Time Sync, and it's paintings. But I didn't actually paint because it's um, sun faded fabric. Yeah. Preparing also a video. That's my first video work. They also I'm collaborating with uh, folks from uh, 1535 that helped me out doing all the camera work and so, so yeah. I've been here since quite the beginning, I think 2014. I had the chance to, to, to get a studio and yeah, at the beginning we were like a small family. We had this first, uh, I think it was the first uh, opening days and I I was just about to, to work on a, on a piece, a uh, uh, big snow globe that you maybe know from gift shops when you go on holidays to have a memory from this holiday. And I, I, I made a big one out of glass uh, filled with petrol, like un, unrefined uh, crude oil. For the day of the opening, I was still busy working a bit and uh, I was casting the pedestal of the Big snow globe was filled with about two liters of crude oil. Uh, what I didn't uh, think about is during the curing of the resin of the socket, uh, it heated up a lot. The resin that was curing heated up the, the crude oil, so the glass uh, exploded and there were like two liters of crude oil spilled all over the floor in my studio. And it was just like 10 minutes before the, the whole ministers, I think there was the Minister of Economy and the Prime Minister that should visit the studios because it was a, a new project for, for the country and uh, everybody was quite excited and dressed super fancy and there I was with the two liters of crude oil spilled and that was also nice because everyone, everyone uh, helped me clean, clean the mess up like 10 minutes before the ministers showed up and yeah. Yeah, a few, a few. I was all, all sweaty and uh, my studio smelled like, a, a, I don't know, like a refinery. So. <laughs> um, I can say in general that I, I met a lot of, I, I made new friends here that uh, even people that moved on and got to work on other places and I, I still have, I'm in contact with them and uh, uh, I met one person that's like, he really knows my work well because he came a lot to my studio. We had like tons of talks and uh, he's writing the text for, uh, about my work, so the part where I'm not so good at. Uh, and uh, also a friend artist, Serge Eka, we developed like a huge monumental project that we still need to find someone that, that's gonna build it, but yeah. It's a good mixture because you get in, in um, the, the diversity of, of uh, people working here is, is really inspiring because you get feedback from all different kinds of angles, uh, different views on, on, on your personal work and uh, if you need material or assistance or tips or contacts, it's perfect. You know? the 1535, the, the building and the atmosphere, is, is, it's a great place to be. It's, Industrial buildings, it's packed with history, so you still can a little bit smell the, the work that was going on and uh, it has nice high, high walls and it's, it's perfect for, for studios, artist studios, definitely. And I'm from the south, so my, my dad is from Diffodange, so I know the, the area, so it's really a place that I like, and, yeah.